In this tutorial, we'll look at how to configure the eBay description template to add images, custom columns, and custom tags, as well as how to set default templates to products. Dynamic content, or content that varies from item to item, such as product images, are added to a description template by means of placeholders. Placeholders are HTML snippets that can pull content from the product summary page. To add the main description image to the template, open the Code Snippet menu and select Description Default Image. Supplemental images can be added as well, using the Supplemental Image placeholders. You can add up to 10 supplemental images into the template. Inserting these placeholders will insert the entire HTML image tag into the template. If you have multiple images to upload, you can use the shortcut placeholder CSS Gallery to grab all the images that are on the product homepage. The images will display as thumbnails under the main description image. To allow manipulation of the image in the HTML editor, select placeholders that have URL added to them, like description default image URL. Using the various image resized placeholders, images can be resized automatically to fit the maximum dimensions that are defined under client settings. You can use custom tags to apply information to multiple eBay description templates. For example, you can create a custom tag that references a company logo. To do this, open the eBay settings and click Custom Tags on the side menu. Enter a name for the tab and create the logo in the HTML editor. Now all you need to do is enter that custom placeholder into the template and the logo will be displayed. When entering the tag into the template, remember to place the placeholder symbols before and after the text of the tag. You can use these manufacturer placeholders to add descriptions related to the manufacturer, like their logo, to the template. These placeholders will pull the information from the manufacturer's page. To access the manufacturer's page, navigate to the toolbox on the company settings and scroll down to the manufacturer tab. On this page, you can enter information like the logo, web and email addresses, and long description. Custom fields or columns can be created to add another field onto individual product properties pages. For example, eBay's condition for used items is called used. With the custom columns, you can create a field called item condition, which you can then fill in with a description that says, looks good shows some sign of wear. The actual columns can be added by the system administrator or seller cloud support, and then set up in the custom column page under the settings tab. Once you've filled in the custom field on the individual product properties pages, you can add it to the description template by referencing the custom column as a placeholder. A default description template can be selected by opening the eBay settings and clicking eBay attribute defaults. For regular items, select a template from this drop-down. A separate template for kits can be selected here. For more information on how to configure eBay description templates, please visit wiki.sellercloud.com.